some more fog in spots, especially if you're on the Iowa side of the Missouri River. Uh, this is a cool look because this camera from 72nd Crown Point is a couple hundred feet up in the air, so it's over the fog, which you can still see is spreading over uh, most of Omaha right now, but it was much denser, more thick earlier this morning and has thinned out the last couple of hours. So visibility improving across most of Omaha right now. In fact, uh, Appley right now reporting some flurries in the area. We actually had a few reports earlier this morning of some of that factory effect snow uh, with the temperature being so cold and some of that freezing fog in the area. But again, uh, still got to watch out for a few slick spots. The fact that temperatures are below freezing with just a light breeze this morning feels like temperature eight degrees stepping out in Omaha. So you can see most of the metro area, uh, especially the western portions of uh, Douglas and Sarpy County looking great. The fog extended more to the west earlier this morning and is slowly pushing off to the east. So still some low visibility at Appley and Council Bluffs Airport, but for the most part, Eastern Nebraska looking good, but still some areas of dense fog, freezing fog just off to these. So again, with temperatures well below freezing, really have to watch out for some slick spots on those bridges and overpasses. And where there is no fog, there's clear skies. Look at the difference in temperature. Two in Norfolk, three in Fremont compared to the teens right now in Omaha. And just with a light breeze, any breeze this morning, Several spots may dip below freeze or below zero in that uh, windshield department. So dense fog advisor continues until nine o'clock, basically all of southwest Iowa. Again, Omaha not included in it anymore, but still with the potential for uh, some lingering uh, pockets of fog and those sub freezing temperatures still going to keep the impact icon in for the morning drive. So again, possibility of some slick spots, but quiet weather this afternoon. We should see some peaks of sunshine at times in those temperatures right around the freezing mark later today. So outside of that fog, I mean, really quiet, especially across uh, the eastern half of Nebraska. Big storm system bringing some snow through parts of New England. And then another system back in the Four Corners region, but this one looks like it's going to stay more off to the south. So you can see winter storm warnings, winter storm uh, watch is extending all the way from New Mexico all the way through St. Louis up through Indianapolis. So most of those impacts are going to stay well south of us as we head into the middle of the week. So your storm predictor today by mid morning, 9, 10 o'clock, the fog should start to lift even more so in Iowa. We should see a brief window where we could get some sunshine, but still clouds in the afternoon. We'll keep temperatures low to mid 30s today, low to mid 30s again on Tuesday. And then again, just a 20% chance of light, so mainly south of the metro with that next system that's going to impact uh, more of uh, Kansas and Missouri. A cold day Thursday, Friday we bounce back, but then big changes looks like are on the way this weekend. A chance for some light snow Saturday into early Sunday, and that's coupled with a blast of Arctic air. So you can see highs drop from the 20s to the teens by the end of the weekend.